My name is John McKeon. I'm the moderator of the Teradata Aprimo River community, Teradata and Aprimo's largest customer community. You can connect with us at teradatariver2.com. Today, we are talking with Debbie Doran, business consultant for CRM for Electronic Arts. Electronic Arts is an amazing entertainment software company that is just taking the world by storm based on the digital shift that's going on. Debbie will be presenting at this year's Partners Conference with a session called Being Timely and Relevant in the Digital World at EA. Welcome to the river, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Debbie, we have seen a just a mammoth shift in consumer behavior uh, toward digital. How is EA making that shift to try and catch up with them and, in fact, be fully engaged in that shift? It's actually a, a corporate initiative that was started a few years ago by our executive leadership to digitally enable all of our games. So traditionally, our packaged goods, we've been known for delivering high-quality packaged games, and the leaders knew that the growth in the industry was shifting towards digital. So that's been our corporate strategy for the past few years, to digitally enable all of our games and to start to interact with our customers through those digital channels. Well, Debbie, what does that mean from a data perspective? I mean, it's a colossal shift to go from having data on packaged goods to actually interacting digitally with the consumers. What is the data side of that? Yeah, the data side is tremendous. So if you think of all the different interactions that a customer can make while they're engaged with us, so whether that's just browsing a website or through a social media channel or through our blogs. We have our own blogs. Most of our games have their own blogs and forums. Or even just within the game, we also capture all the detailed data about uh, a person's playing behavior within the game. And so that's, that's very interesting from a data perspective, getting that whole view of the customer, so understanding all of their behaviors across all those digital channels. Debbie, what is the biggest challenge when the focus was to engage with your customers in the game and now engage with the customers in the social environment? What is the cultural change of actually trying to assimilate that? I think a lot of it has to do with some of the the key acquisitions that our company has made in the past few years have have enabled us to make that shift. We've had a couple of acquisitions with Playfish, And so they've been able to enable us to make that shift into the social world because of that was their core competency is delivering social games. And I see that from a corporate perspective, making the shift from just traditional packaged goods to a game that could appeal to a broader audience. So we're opening up a whole new world of being able to deliver games to people who are just casual gamers and being able to appeal to them. So we're starting to appeal to a wider audience through these social channels. Well, Debbie, what happens? I mean, measurement is hard enough to do with packaged goods. What is the challenges for actually measuring activity and results in a digital world? That is challenging because there's, of course, different levels of engagement and different behaviors that we're trying to drive. But we built up uh, all of our analytics around our digital business and uh, are able to measure, again, because we were able to capture that data on their behavior and measure the impact of some of our actions that we initiate. And if it's a successful action or if it's something that we need to refine further. But we built up all the analytics based upon the digital data that we're capturing. So, Debbie, when you get this right, when you get the measurement right, how does that favorably impact the business in in terms of understanding revenue and profits? And also, how does it also favorably impact your gamers? So, from a corporate perspective, we've just seen a huge impact on the digital revenue, and we continue to exceed our, our goals for the digital revenue. And that's, again, the trend in the industry is there's the trend is just an exponential growth in the digital business. And From a consumer standpoint, I feel like we're delivering better services for them at the point where they're at. So if they're in their social space or if they're even if they're playing through their console and they want to connect with other friends who are playing online, 
So we're able to deliver that experience for them, and that's really what the shift to digital is. It's, it's really to enhance that customer experience and help them enjoy that experience even more. Debbie, one last question. What do you see as the biggest data challenges in the future as this digital gaming continues to evolve? I think the biggest challenge is just interpreting all of the massive amount of data that we're capturing. If you think about um, all of the in-game telemetry data that we're capturing and starting to look at the omniture, the online behavior, is interpreting that. So it's a huge amount of data. And how do you how do you interpret that and use it for our advantage from a corporate perspective to better understand our customers, again, to deliver the best customer experience, ultimately? Debbie Doran, business consultant for CRM for Electronic Arts. She'll be delivering a great presentation at Partners Conference. Definitely one you don't want to miss. Debbie, thanks a lot. All right. Thank you.